everyone and welcome to my Halloween series which is called 31 Days of Halloween! Ta-da! Um, yeah, so basically I'm going to be doing a video every single day in October so it'll either be autumnal themed or Halloween themed and today we're just going to kick things straight off with a makeup tutorial using liquid latex and it'll be gory and horrid and let's go! Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you this mask. So basically I made this last year. I'm going to link a video down below in the description box of how to make this. It was, I can't remember the girl's name because it was last year I watched this. But I'll link her video down below and she'll show you how to make this mask. Now mine isn't as good as hers because I'm not that great. But yeah, I think this looks gory. But basically I'm going to show you the makeup that goes along with it. So first things first, you need to use liquid latex. So I have some already pre-made. Not pre-made because it's already made, but like onto a cardboard dish. I've also put some uh, fake blood on here. And what you want to do, I'm going to put it down here so I have a spare hand, is you're going to use a Q-tip just to... Blah, a Q-tip as in a cotton bud if you're from the UK or a Q-tip if you're from the USA. Um, you're just going to dip it into the liquid latex and you're going to draw an outline of where the mask is. So basically, if you don't recognise what this is, basically it's supposed to be as if you're using your own skin as a masquerade mask and your skin's been ripped off. So just keep checking that you're getting the right kind of angles in. And yeah! quite a hard look to do so I would definitely recommend not just trying it and going out, I would recommend you practice first because um, it is rather difficult if I do say so and you're just bringing it up the nose and along. Now before this dries in I'm going to go ahead and do this half of my face with the fake skin. So for the fake skin I'm using kitchen roll and I've just ripped bits up into strips so I think I want to make it a bit smaller so just take whatever you think you're going to need and I'm going to half that again and it doesn't have to be even because the whole idea is it's ripped skin so you want it to look quite rough and you're going to stick half of it down and leave half open with no latex so you've got like a kind of flap going on um, the girl who made the mask also did a video on this and she'll probably show you better how to do it but I really enjoyed like, doing this when I did it last year so I'm going to make a video of it because last year I wasn't filming YouTube videos I was just doing it because I'm a makeup artist so I enjoy doing different looks and when I have clients I can show them pictures and stuff so on my free time basically I just sit and do makeup looks and it's quite fun actually being a makeup artist is quite fun to be honest it can be stressful at times but it's also incredibly fun um, yeah so this is all you do you're just placing it onto the liquid latex leaving half open so you've got a little I'm going to do the same to the other side as well. Okay, so now I look like an absolute crazy person. But I'm going to let this dry because it works so much easier if you let latex dry. Um, but after I let this dry, I will be going on to the paint. Okay, so once you're quite happy that your liquid latex has dried, you can go ahead and use some paint. Now I'm just using this cheap little paint palette and I'm using the red colour and I'm just scooping it onto the crap little brush that it comes with. And I'm just going to start going on my face. It's really gunky. I hate this kind of face paint, but it does the job for a Halloween look. There's no point in using expensive face paints on Halloween looks. And you just want to make sure you're also going under your false skin. So just kind of lift it up. If need be, just peel it up slightly if it has stuck down and just go underneath it because this is going to help to build up texture as well and not make it look so flat. Um, once I've finished with the red I'm going to go in with the black as well. You want to cover your entire face but leave your eye space because if you remember the mask 
that has the eye space. And you can just keep using this as a template to work out where you need to go. Um, so yeah, just fill in this little bit red and I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, so now I look really ridiculous. I'm also going to be putting some on the kitchen roll because this needs to all blend out and be really muddy. Um, you are going to use fake mud as well so you don't have to cover it all with the paint. Um, but if you can start covering it with the paint that would be good. Someone just walked past my window and probably thought what the hell is she doing? It's like almost 3 o'clock which means the primary school is just coming out and there's going to be loads of people walking past judging me right now but oh well! There's no major issue if that happens, it comes up fairly easily. This is just again to create some texture because we can't have it being 2D because the whole point is that it looks really gruesome and woundish. So as you can see it's starting to look better now that the black's been added. Um, we've still got a long way to go with the black but it's starting to get there. Black. Oh, I have a message on my phone. Um, but, oh, paint sucks my finger. But this just helps to add the and when you add fake blood, it will cover up the black and just make it a kind of darker shade of red. So don't worry about it being black. If you are going to be doing lots of makeup looks, like if you are a makeup artist, I highly recommend not getting the little tubes of blood. You can get those for yourself if you want, but see for clients are I, I recommend getting a good big carton, good quality big carton of blood. Fake blood, not real blood. Don't go around like killing people for blood, for your makeup, don't do that. Not that I thought any of you would, but just in case. Always got to make sure, I don't know who watches it. Now is the fun part of using fake blood. So just use a cotton bud or Q-tip if you're from America and start placing it everywhere that you put paint. So practically everywhere around right this area. Now it can be extremely messy because blood doesn't just fall in a nice position, it goes all gory and weird. So as you can see with the fake blood it starts to look a lot gorier. It gives it so much more texture and just make sure you're peeling up that full skin and getting the blood right inside it. Ah, it's so gruesome. I absolutely love doing looks like this. I actually think the best thing to do is to go round about the outside of the kitchen roll first and then we'll go inside it because we need to make sure all of it is covered. up to you if you want to cover the kitchen roll with foundation first but you're just going to be covering it with blood so personally I don't see the point in doing that. Um, yeah. And also trying to match your foundation colour with the white kitchen roll on your skin it just doesn't really work. My eyes are starting to sag not because of the makeup just because I've poked myself in my eye with my skin. Putting yourself in the eye with mascara isn't the greatest thing to do. I don't really recommend it. I've just got fake blood on my eyebrow. Please let that come out. Please. I don't really want to be going to work tomorrow with fake blood on my eyebrow. I'm like, well, what the hell? makeup look done. Are you ready to see? Are you ready to see? Um, yeah, so if you've got a bit more time you can make this 
it's looking a bit more neater, but I don't have much time at the moment. But if you like how gory it looks, it's so gross, and that false skin, when it tears away, you can pull bits off and rip it more if you want. And um, my eyes are starting to really sting, so I'm going to have to go and take this off. Um, my face is quite sensitive, so I don't think it is a fact that I'm putting myself now with mascara, because both of my eyes are doing it now. Um, yeah, I have really, really sensitive skin. But I'm going to go and take all this stuff off my face. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. This is only day one, so we have another 20, no, how many days is there? 31. So we have another 30 days videos. Oh my god, yes! I should stop doing this in case I break my mask. This is extremely easy to make and so much fun. See if you're in the Halloween spirit, you put on the Halloween music and you make your mask. Oh my god, it's so much fun. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow with another Halloween video. Not all of the videos are going to be makeup tutorials. Some will be other types of videos. It might be an occasional vlog in there. Who knows? But I'll be a variety of autumn and Halloween videos.